Former Deputy Health Minister Vahan Bavosyan has been detained along the lines of the criminal case which the Investigative Committee of Armenia is investigating into the case of misuse that was detected at the National Center for Fight Against Tuberculosis. The preliminary investigation has determined that Bavosyan had overtly abused his official powers from December 2011 to November 2016, holding the post of Deputy Health Minister coordinating the HIV-AIDS prevention and medical assistance activities in Armenia. Armenia is entering the phase of implementation of the Armenia-EU agreement, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said. Also, he informed that several mega-projects had been discussed with the EU in Brussels. The first group of them refers to roads and transport infrastructures. The next big projects are a reservoir construction project and the introduction of a new water management system as well as more school building in Armenia. The government of Armenia approved a package of bills on making amendments to the law on the structure and activities of the government. According to the draft, the government shall comprise the prime minister, two deputy prime ministers and ministers. Also, there shall be 12 ministries instead of the current 17 ones. The job cuts to be made as a result of reorganization of the ministries primarily will apply to political and discretionary positions. Member of the European Parliament, Dr. Eleni Teokarus, on Wednesday hosted a conference entitled Armenophobia, Historical and Present-day Resurgence at the European Parliament. More than 100 attendees were present at the event, among them members of the European Parliament, representatives of civil society, as well as Armenian community members. Former and current Artsa Ombudsman, as well as Russian-Israeli blogger Alexander Lapshin, were in attendance too. From February 19 to today, Armenian specialists have demined 10,510 square meters of land, provided 50 surgical and 100 therapeutic assistance to patients, and conducted 160 clinical biochemical and hormonal laboratory tests in Syria. As reported earlier, an 83-member team comprising deminers, doctors, and their security professionals traveled from Armenia to Syria on February 8 to provide humanitarian and professional assistance to the Syrian people. The second imported measles case has been recorded in Armenia. A person with measles arrived in the country on February 20th from Brussels via Georgia. According to Armenia's health ministry, the laboratory test confirmed measles. The first case was recorded also in February when a Ukrainian citizen with measles, confirmed by the laboratory test, arrived in Armenia after traveling from Kiev via flight number PS611.